Hello everybody, welcome back. Nooblet here. So finally, I was waiting. Remember I said the during the Loot Crate unboxing for February, I said I was just waiting for my Soul Theory box to come so that I could unbox the Gypsy Glam Bag. I really, I can talk today. I, I swear that I know how to. Uh, I'm just apparently having momentary lapses um, in language barriers. I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, so let's get to it. I think we're gonna start with the Ipsy Glam Bag and move on to the Soul Theory box. So let's do that really quick. Let me, um... Haha, I did it. Alright, what is this? This... Oh, it's... Wow, this is a big bag. Uh, you are beautiful. Pass it on. See, you guys are beautiful. You're awesome. You're the best. I would tell you to pass it on, but uh, I can't actually physically give you the card. So, so let's, let's see what's in here. I like that this bag's a little bit bigger because this would be a much better travel bag than some of the previous ones I've gotten. It seems like it'll actually even fit the brush that they threw in there. So let's start with the brush. Let's get it out of its plastic, as always, because you guys can't see. Although there, I don't have as much... I don't have a light behind me right now. Again, like I was explaining... Um, during my loot crate video was that I currently am in the process of reworking my desk and um, I don't have the light that I used to have back there. I don't know if I'm going to get it back or if maybe I'm just going to switch to doing these unboxings somewhere else in the house. That still, you know, remains to be seen. Uh, so we have an eyeshadow brush. As soon as I get used to where my camera is too, you can see it. It's refusing to, you know, uh, focus on it, but you guys can more or less get the gist of it. Let's see what else there is. What is this? Eyeshadow. Uh, let me again do this over here. Oh. Be right back, guys. All right, and we're back. Sorry, there was a package at the door and I remembered that I needed to sign for it or I was pretty sure it, I needed to sign for it. So I had to run out there. Okay, so let's, I was in the middle of doing this, dealing with this eyeshadow, I think it is. Pressed chestnut? Uh, wait, how do I open it? Um, this looks like a way to open it. Oh, oh, it slides out. It doesn't, uh, okay. Yeah, see, that took me a second. I was expecting to, you know, open it this way and it slides out instead. It's a pretty nice color. I like it. Um, it's usually the type of color I use for, like, an accent. I wonder if it's going to be a lot more shimmery than my usual colors. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's sort of like a coppery bronze color. I mean, it's pressed chestnut, but that doesn't quite tell me anything. Maybe it tells you guys something. It doesn't really mean much to me. Uh, let's see what is next. Microdermabrasion. Age-defying exfoliator. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Slowly massage onto skin. Blah, blah, blah. Allowing three days between applications. Eh. I probably don't want to actually put it on my skin and it currently has like a little thingy. But let's see if I can sort of see what it looks like without pushing too much of it out. And it just looks like from here like a white cream, I guess, is it just has like gritty things. I don't know. I've only ever like had microdermabrasion in combination with like the little thingy, you know, that spins. I know, that made a lot of sense. I swear I do know how to speak. Most of the time. Anyway, let's keep going. We have treatment mask. Hair mask? Yeah, it's a hair mask. Which is not bad because my hair is getting a little bit better. I did get a haircut not that long ago, which has revitalized it quite a bit. But a hair mask always comes in handy, especially when you're blow drying your hair. Chill out. And I'm not joking. That's literally what it says. Chill out. For five to ten minutes, then rinse. That's usually the hardest part for me because it's like, if my hair is wet and I want to put something on it, then I'm probably still in the shower. But then I don't want to wait around for five minutes in the shower just standing there. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, what does it smell like? Damn it, it has a thing too. Why does everything have a thingy? It smells pretty standard conditioner. That's, I don't know what I was expecting, really. But... And the last thing we have is another 
Eye shadow. Shadow, maybe? Must be. It just threw me off because the color is bronzer. But I'm pretty sure that this tiny little thing is not a bronzer. I mean, maybe. But it comes in the same package as some of the other eyeshadows they've sent me. I'm starting to get a lot of eyeshadows. And I, I don't mind for the most part. But I need some lighter colored eyeshadows that are more in maybe the pinkish range. I would say. Because I'm starting to get a lot of these like bronze tones. And then I don't have anything else to mix it with. Like do a little bit of highlighting and stuff so I don't mind these I wouldn't mind some slightly different colors and maybe I just have to actually submit my reviews on Ipsy which they tell you you should and I haven't been doing it because I'm terrible at submitting reviews is anybody else like I don't mean to be like if I if I buy something and I really like it I'm like I really should you know I don't know submit a review to somebody tell somebody that I really like it but I'm just really terrible at ever getting back to it anyway let's go ahead and unbox this uh there we go Soul Theory box. And see what's in it this time. You guys, if you watched my last unboxing, you might remember the really crazy sunglasses I got the last time. They did grow on me after a while. Um, but let's see what's in here. Okay, well, actually, the more obvious thing this time around is something that looks dangerous to wear. It's a metal... This is really loud. Hold on. All right, there we go. It is a metal bangle, I guess it's the best word I have for it. It looks a little bit... I don't know. Kind of like it. It looks a little bit dangerous to wear. I feel like I'm gonna... I feel like these would get stuck on stuff, like sweaters and whatnot. Um, but it could work with the right outfit. Actually, it might even work with the shirt, honestly, and the jeans, but... Yeah, it's not so bad. I like it. Let's see what else. These look like aviators at a glance. Then I don't think that I look very good in them, but... They're very well packaged this time around. Uh, I gotta figure this out for a second. How am I getting this out of here? There we go. And I'm trying not to dirty the lenses so that when I put them on... Lux sunglasses. How do I get rid of this thing? I can do this. Alright, I did it! Um, I did get a couple of fingerprints on there while I was doing it, so I did have to uh, clean them up a little bit. But let's go ahead and... Oh my god. Actually, they're kind of close to my face, too. You can also see my entire screen. I probably should fix that. For a second there, I, was, I thought I was seeing a different reflection. This is weird. Um, I don't yet know how I feel about them. They're like really, really close to my face when I put them on. Um, to the point where like my eyelashes are touching them, which gets a little bit uncomfortable. But overall, they do have the same... Pro that I gave the other ones, which was that the lenses are fairly flat, so they don't give me a headache. Um, they just might look better on top of my head than they do on me, but they're pretty good for that. I mean, they really like also their really shiny sunglasses over at Soul Theory, which, again, they don't look bad necessarily. I mean, they're not my style, but they don't look bad either, I suppose. Um, Quality-wise, again, we're in more or less the same territory as I mentioned before. Very Charming Charlie type of ter territory. Uh, these look a little bit scratched up. Like, they probably got a little bit scratched up in the box. I'm going to see how much of it is just things that I need to, like, buff off and clean them off better. And how much is, uh, you know, that they just get easily scratched, which is more my concern with these. Based on the type of material I'm seeing here and stuff, my concern is... That these just might get scratched up a lot easier. Oh, you can see... Oh, look. You can see the Doom figure above my desk. Or... Let's see what's... Wait, what am I showing you there? Halo statue right there? Yeah, there you go. Well, you can explore everything, uh, apparently, behind my desk just with me wearing these sunglasses. What can you see? I have to 
get closer on in on that when I edit the video. I'm more having fun with the reflection. Anyway, guys, that is it for our Soul Theory and Ipsy Glam bag this month. Yes, it's March, and this is the March stuff. Um, I would say that I probably like this box, the Soul Theory box, a little bit better than last month's. Sunglasses, I'm still like, either way, they're not really my style. I don't know, you know, um, if I'm ever going to wear them. But it was sort of an expectation I had going into this box. Like, I almost never buy sunglasses. I don't even know if it's going to be that useful to me. But at the same time, I thought I might end up discovering good sunglasses or just ending up with, you know, a box full of sunglasses that I can use. And to some extent, like, if I lose them or something happens, I didn't spend a lot of money on it. So that's also good. And it's money that regardless, like, you're like, well, if you're, they're comparable quality to Claire's Charming Charlie and all that, you could just go buy them yourself. But the reality is that I never will. So... Anyway, I will catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other other subscription boxes for Soul Theory, let me know in the comments below what it is that you're getting. If you're putting up any videos or blog posts, Instagram pictures, whatever. Feel free to share those also in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.